The next section we want to look at under work is time tracking. And literally all this is, is a time tracking device. So you can <laughs> describe the task you're working on by creating a new task. You can add a comment if you want. And then what happens? Enter time as a decimal or as hours. So you can enter it manually here or you can start the timer. And obviously a task must be specified before you can do that. But once you do this, you can actually create time slips for people working through your business and you can create a report or add a weekly timesheet or whatever. So this is very specific to time tracking. And if you're not doing that sort of thing, then there's literally no need to use this. And you can add this time to invoices or projects later. So what will happen now? We've got one last section under work and that's recurring invoices. And it's literally stated the name recurring invoices. So if you have an invoice that you send out, for example, a subscription, you are charging someone a subscription fee for something and it never changes, you might want to go ahead and use a recurring invoice because it's the most easy way to account for that sort of payment type. And this is when you'd use recurring invoices, but most people probably won't use that. Most people will just go to work and invoicing and then go ahead and create a new invoice and then just send that off and that's done. So that kind of explains the other sections of the work tab. If you have any questions about those, please do contact me. But for most people, just using the invoice option is the most efficient way to get your clients to pay you.